Blink Twice, the directorial debut of Zoe Kravitz, Lenny Kravitz's daughter. By the way, sorry if my voice sounds a little lower than usual. I'm coming out with something, I think, so this is what it does to me when I have a cough. Anyway, it stars Channing Tatum, Naomi Aki playing the protagonist, alongside maybe from Arrested Development herself, Aaliyah Shawkat. Now, typically when I see anything that stars Channing Tatum, I kind of go into it with very low expectations, which is maybe not fair because he's been in lots of things that I've enjoyed, but this was one that my wife wanted us to watch, and so we watched that the other night. And I was pleasantly surprised. Don't get me wrong, this is not a great movie. It's a decent date night movie, and the premise is kind of interesting. It's obviously a nod to some real world parallels having to do with a man who was notorious for having his own private island that he took people to. You can probably figure out the rest. It actually has one moment in it where there's a really impressive performance by Channing Tatum of all people. But overall, this one is not one I'll probably watch again. The biggest misstep I think it has, and I guess we're getting into spoilers now, is uh, having the help come across as like creepy when they really had nothing to do with the sort of execution of it, I guess, at least not from a high level. Really the only actual evil characters were the douchebag guys and Tatum himself. I mean, I get the idea of having like a red herring, but I don't know, it just seemed like it was kind of mean-spirited. Also, it felt like it kind of carried on too much with the showing the Paradise Island thing. Usually you want to use it to kind of establish what's going on, but repeating it over and over without it actually moving the story forward is kind of pointless. But yeah, this movie, you can tell that Zoe is probably a fan of the kind of films that A24 has been putting out, Midsummer and anything Robert Eggers has done but it just doesn't quite hit the mark. It's a really good effort. I can't wait to see what she does in the future. I hope we get to see more of this kind of quality stuff from her. Overall, three stars. Check it out if you can't find anything else, or if you're a really big Channing Tatum fan like my wife is.